Hey everyone, it's Mike from Mike's Tutorials here with a quick video on how to get rid of pesky adware and malware on your Mac. Uh, this has been a long time problem on Windows and I'm seeing it more and more uh, happening to Mac users. Um, if you're getting weird messages uh, about the FBI or you, you know noticed that uh, your homepage has been hijacked or your search engine has been hijacked or um, you're seeing like a bunch of new ads, you might have adware on your system. Um, and uh, there's a couple of tools out there to remove these things. Um, and uh, I'm gonna recommend one, Malwarebytes. Um, it's free, you can get it at malwarebytes.com. Um, so I tend to recommend this one first. If you download it and install it, um, uh, I, I just installed it, you might get a message like this saying Malwarebytes extension could not be authorized. Um, go ahead and um, it should take you to the system preferences security and privacy and you might need to click this allow button and sometimes i'm on the latest version of mac os sometimes i've seen this you click allow and it doesn't work if you reboot your mac that should resolve the issue um, that gives the real time. So uh, scanning malware bytes is free. So I'm just gonna say do it later here. I'm just gonna go through this. Malware bytes is free. It, um, it removes basically all known malware and it gets updated and you can get the updates for free. There is an optional paid version um, for it. Uh, for personal use, it's $40 per year per device or for three devices, $60 per year. I think for most people, staying on the free version is actually fine. You lose the real-time scanning, but if you notice anything weird happening, you can always just do a, a manual scan and uh, fix it. So once it's been installed, you'll have this, and um, you can go ahead and just click Scan Now, and it will go through your system and remove any known threats. Um, this just takes a minute or so, and you'll notice um, it mentions upgrade now, you know, they do try to promote the paid version, which makes sense. That's their business model. Uh, and you will start getting notifications about upgrading as well. If you want to stop getting those immediately, I usually recommend just go into Malwarebytes, uh, click on the Malwarebytes menu at the top, go down to preferences, click on my account, and then deactivate the premium trial it'll stop bugging you about upgrading then. And you can say, yes, you want to deactivate then. Um, so now you're on the free version and the, the thing you don't get is you do not get real-time protection. Up to you whether that's worth the $40 a year. For me personally, I'm okay with just running Malwarebytes occasionally, or if I see that I have a problem, um, I'll run it. Um, so it goes through your computer, removes uh, anything that's known to be bad, malicious. Um, and the other thing you can do, I'm just gonna let this run while it's running. The other thing you can check is, um, Malwarebytes usually will remove these, but you can check your Safari extensions or whatever browser you use. If you use Chrome, check your extensions and remove um, anything that looks like something you don't wanna have. Um, so you can go up to Safari. I'm using a sort of a beta build of Safari, but it'll just say Safari up here. Go to preferences, go to extensions, and if there's anything in here, these are all ones that I've added, extensions. Um, if you want to see a video about the extensions I use, let me know. But um, you can just, uh, sometimes you'll see ones in here for like easy map finder or like doc to PDF, things that they look like they might be useful, but they're actually like, if you're not familiar with it, I would just click on it and then click uninstall and remove it. Um, now the thing that I've seen that's been even sneakier now is, um, if you go back to general, you'll see like, I've seen weird things where the homepage can't be changed and it's always pulling up the same homepage. And um, this often happens if you um, go looking for like the Adobe Flash updater and you just click on the wrong link and you download something and run it. You'll actually get a profile installed on your system and the profile will do things like lock you out of changing your homepage. So the fix is to remove the profile and to do that, you go to system preferences, you'll see an option in here that says profile. I don't have any profiles installed, so it's hidden for me. Um, and once you click on profile, there's a minus button. You can click on profiles and uh, 
then if you uh, reboot Safari, restart Safari, you should be able to change the home page back to what you want it to be. Also, just check your search engine, make sure that looks how you want it to be. Um, let's check back in on Malwarebytes. It's finished. Congratulations. I am clean. Uh, so I can go ahead and cl uh, quit Malwarebytes. Um, if you want to see what the Chrome one looks like, if I'm in Chrome, you can always go to Window and Extensions and uh, look through here, remove ones that you know that you don't want to have. Um, and you also can go to Chrome Preferences and go down and look at the search engines. And sometimes you'll see weird, some weird search engines, things that you've maybe never heard of. And you can remove any ones that you don't recognize. Um, and you can make sure that your default is set to be the one that you want to use. Um, you can also look here, I've seen sometimes here on startup, um, I usually like leaving it to continue where you left off, then it just opens up the same pages you had open when you quit Chrome. Uh, but sometimes I've seen it be set to open a specific set of pages and there'll be like random stuff in it that you don't want. So just either change that or set it to open the new tab page or continue where you left off, uh, which is the one that I like. Um, Firefox, just, I'll just to be thorough, Firefox is, uh, you know, popular web browser too. And if you go to preferences, you can just make sure that when Firefox start a setup correctly, the home page is set up correctly. And um, I think it's under tools add-ons. Um, make sure that these all look okay too. Malwarebytes should take care of a lot of these things, but if you notice it not, these are places to check to see. Um, if something's not working right. So, uh, oh, and after you install Malwarebytes, it does put a little icon up here. And so you can always just manually do a scan if you need to. If you don't like having this icon here, you can always go into settings for Malwarebytes and you can hide the application icon and that makes it go away. Um, I think that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them. Just wanted to give a quick overview of the tool that I use to remove adware and malware from clients' computers because I do see it more and more these days. It's just super easy to get, not super dangerous to your system, but um, you definitely want to get rid of these things. They're just annoying. So um, as always, like, subscribe, trying to get to that thousand subscribers. Um, and I appreciate you watching this video. So take care.